There are few radio shows from the golden age of radio that evoke more of a response than Amos and Andy. After 586 broadcasts during the 1926 and 27 seasons as Sam and Henry, Freeman Gosden and Charles Carell left WGN to begin their legendary series, Amos and Andy, featuring Amos Jones, played by Gosden, and Andrew Brown, played by Carell, on March 19, 1928. For its first 15 years, Amos and Andy was a serial written entirely by Gosden and Carell, who also performed the voices for all of the characters, with just a few supporting players coming in later in the run. The program reached a peak of popularity in 1931, when an estimated 75% of the radio audience tuned in. When the daily serial format finally wrapped up on February 19, 1943, after more than 4,000 broadcasts, it was still reaching 12 million listeners. Amos Jones and Andy Brown returned on October 8, 1943, in a revamped show called The Amos and Andy Show. The program's time was doubled to a full half hour, Writing duties were handed over to professional scripters. An orchestra headed by Raymond Scott brought a big new musical sound, and a full cast of actors took over the supporting roles previously played primarily by Gosden and Carell. The audience popped and within a few seasons had tripled over what the show was reaching before the reboot. The Amos and Andy show cruised along for a full dozen years under the sponsorship of Pepsodent and then Rexall, finally leaving the air on May 22, 1955. On September 13, 1954, the duo debuted on a second series called Amos and Andy Music Hall. It proved to be a glorified disc jockey program with no real storyline or connection to the sitcom. Not even Amos and Andy could last forever, and they left the air for the final time on November 26, 1960. William Paley, the head of CBS who poached Gosden and Carell from NBC, recognized the significance of Amos and Andy's absence from the airwaves. It was sad to see the old-timers go, he conceded. Gosden and Carell starred in Calvin and the Colonel, an animated television series about a fox and a bear who bore a striking resemblance to Andy Brown and the Kingfish. The series ran for only the 1961-62 season, but lasted for years thereafter in reruns. The Amos and Andy television adaptation had a similarly short run, airing on CBS from 1951 to 1953, and featuring an all-black cast. It was canceled after two seasons and has not appeared legally in reruns or on home video.